One of the most interesting pianos in the PTG Foundation's Jack Wyatt Museum is the Souffletto, a French upright made in 1828. After removing a rod on the right side of the case, the piano can be swung open like a book, giving easy access for string replacement and action work. Another interesting thing about this piano is the story of its discovery by its donor, Daryl Cattle, a retired PTG member. On a trip to visit his daughter and son-in-law in Peru, he found it in an antique store in Arequipa, a colonial city in the Andes. He told us about it at the Lancaster Convention. While they're looking over cloth or pottery or whatever, we're just sort of, you know, back here in the corner, something like right over here, all this junk's on top of this object. And I look down and I, well, look down and I, the key slip's missing and this looks like the end of the day. That is the one not original piece in that piano. Uh, other than the strings and the pins, is the key slip as far as the furniture that, that was replaced. You don't need to tell anybody that. that you know. At any rate, we asked permission to clean all the junk off of and this thing exposed itself. And it's still like a piano that I had never seen before, let alone my son. We opened the thing up. We could take the uh, we could take the, uh, the, the vertical panel in front of the key pins on the top. But we didn't have. I didn't know how to open it thing up. You know, there's a rod that you pull up one side and freeze it. So you can just here. Uh, we looked at it and I said. There's no metal plate in this thing, so this is going to be pretty old. And, uh, so, uh, uh, was, was it for sale? Well, the person behind the counter was working at the time was not the owner. So uh, she couldn't, uh, or the, uh, no, they couldn't give us an answer. But uh, we either. Dennis, Dennis had to contact by getting a name of the owner of the shop in case we wanted to talk further about it. So we went back to their to their home at the time in Lima, Peru, and uh, we were there for another week or three, I don't know, yeah, uh, before we headed back to the United States. And uh, I said, Dennis, should try and find out more about that piano for the owner if it's, if it's for sale or if he's willing to sell it or if he is how much would he want for it. and uh, I went home and he did some research and he called me on the phone a couple times and we bantered back and forth and finally negotiated that sale and then the story that he learned well today was how it was uh, Rested from this little coopy hole, more or less, back to their home, subsequently from their home back to Virginia when they came back to the States, and from Virginia up to PA where I live. And it sat in my shop really, literally, without any attention being paid to it for at least 10 years. And then I had some time and I got interested, started. To make some room for it. Well, then my wife died, and uh, I had uh, this home, and I, and I was getting to 62, and I was preparing. You know, we were uh, going to retire anyhow, and it gave us a chance to travel. So I retired at 62, and uh, that's 24 years ago. And, uh, in the museum, I got it a few years back. We're having a good time.